Hello, hello, I'm Arielle Alicia and welcome. If you're new to the channel, stick around. If you catch a vibe, subscribe. We're just gonna do a quick little cooking video, a little one to one. So you feel me? This is gonna be something quick, something easy to prepare. We're gonna make a white rice, um, a bed of white rice with sausage and shrimp and a little bit of broccoli on top of the bed of rice. So yeah, somewhat kind of like jambalaya, something. Not all the way, but kind of, sort of. I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients real quick and then we just gonna jump right into this thing. All right, y'all, so I have my Fisherman's Wharf medium-sized cooked shrimp, okay? It's, it says it's about 41 to 50 peeled shrimps in this bag now these are the shrimp with the tails on them i should have got the ones without the tails because i am gonna cut the tails off but got the shrimp then we have the minute rice and then some of the spices we're going to use is this tony's creole some lemon pepper some extra virgin oil some Lowry's seasoned salt, some parsley flakes, and some butter. I'm also gonna make some broccoli, but that is still in the freezer. So let me set y'all up, wash my hands, do all that good stuff, get ready, and then let's start cooking. All right, y'all, so I have 20 pieces of shrimp in this bowl. Um, but I wanted to show y'all the sausage. I forgot to show y'all the sausage when I'm showing y'all everything else. So this is Roger Wood Lumberjack Sausage. I freaking love this. It has a little bit of a kick to it. It's somewhat spicy, so we won't really be seasoning that too much. But I am going to put a little bit of seasoning on it. Okay, so with the shrimp, I have gone ahead and rinsed these off. So now I'm going to place them all on the cutting board and cut off the tails. I have all of the shrimp onto the cutting board. So I'm just going to cut these tails off real quick. Okay, so all of the shrimp have been detailed. <laughs> now I know y'all are probably thinking, oh my gosh, you're losing all that meat. I know there's shrimp meat in the tail, I know. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I should have got the shrimp that uh, was detailed. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I mean, I guess I could squeeze the meat out of the tail. Huh, I guess that works. Yeah, I guess I'll do that y'all, hold on. <laughs> All right y'all, so I've put the shrimp um, back in the bowl and we're gonna season them with the lemon pepper and the Tony's Creole season. Okay, so let's get started. Gonna go ahead and Get that on there. 
Then I'm gonna go in with the lemon pepper. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in and just stir it all up. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and mix these up. Smelling real good. Feeling like I have to sneeze because <laughs> of these peppers. But it's smelling good. Smelling good, looking good. Can y'all see that? Yes. The juices, the flavors. I can just imagine the flavors. All right, y'all. So I'm going to just let the shrimp sit for a little bit. And now we're going to cut up the sausage. I have another um, chopping board. And I'm going to probably chop just one because I think two might be a little too much. So I like to cut off, okay, so there's nothing on the end, but the front, I just cut that off. So I just make like small slices and then I cut them in half. So that'll give me more than enough. And now I've just stacked them on top of each other and just cut them into like crescent moons. <laughs> I just split them in half. So now I have, you know, like twice as many. So I think this is more than enough to go with the shrimp. So now I have another white bowl. I'm going to put the sausage in here and then we will add just a little bit of seasoning. So I have the Lowry seasoning salt. Like I said, these are kind of spicy already. So I'm not going to be putting too much of this seasoning on it. I like spicy, but baby, I don't like hot. Man. It's a difference. <laughs> so I'm just going to be sprinkling just a teensy bit on here. All right, I know that probably seemed like a lot, <laughs> but it really was like barely coming out. So that's why it took me a long time, but really wasn't a lot coming out. But anyway, let's go ahead and stir this up so we can season the sausage. All right, y'all. The sausage has been stirred. <laughs> It has officially been seasoned. So now we have our shrimp that's seasoned and we have our sausage that's seasoned. I'm gonna go ahead now and put the rice on and the broccoli. Then I'm gonna get the frying pan and I'm going to saute the sausage first and then we'll do the shrimp. Okay, so I have the broccoli. Um, in the pot, I have to put the water in there, and I have two cups of rice that I'll be putting in that pot. So let me go and get the water and the stove on and get it popping. All right, so I have the water back here for the broccoli. So I'm going to put this on low because you know it doesn't take long for broccoli to cook. So I'm gonna have that going. I have the water here for the rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going, All right? And then I have my pan right here where I'm gonna start cooking the sausage. So I'm gonna go in with my extra virgin olive oil and coat the pan. All right, you guys, the water is boiling as you can see, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the rice. All right, y'all, so I'm just going to be stirring this 
you know consistently um, my broccoli is going I'm going to go ahead and put my sausage in the pan because the pan is hot now so let's get to the sausage into the pan. all right so while this is getting all seasoned and cooked I'm going to wash this out real quick because when I'm done cooking these I'm going to put them back in this bowl the bowl is clean Check on this rice make sure it's not sticking to my pot Cooking is chilling. Like I said, I got it on low. Got the rice over here. Woo! So we good. We doing good. All right, y'all. So the sausage is done. So now we're going to take the shrimp. We're going to go and pour it in the pan and saute the shrimp. Just like with the bowl that had the sausage in it, I'm gonna go clean this out real quick so I can put the shrimp in here once they are done. Ooh, y'all see all that? Ooh, baby. I can't wait to taste that, y'all. <laughs> yes, honey. So the broccoli is done, the rice is done. Putting on this shrimp, and then I'm going to do one more thing after the shrimp is done. All right, y'all. So everything is done. There's one last thing that we're going to do. We're going to use the butter <laughs> that I mentioned earlier. We're going to make a um, a butter sauce to put on top of the food to drizzle on top. So we have some extra added flavor. So I'm going to um, melt some butter in this pan and put some parsley flakes um, in the butter. Um, garlic probably would have been better, but I don't have any garlic. So parsley flakes, they're a good uh, replacement for that. So let's go ahead and do that and make this food because I'm ready to eat it. <laughs> Alright y'all, my battery just died from my camera, but here is the butter. I'm melting the butter down. Alright y'all, I poured some parsley. Can y'all see that? So the butter has melted. I have turned down the stove. So let's go ahead and plate. All right, y'all, so y'all see the food is done. Um, if the quality has changed, y'all know it's because I'm on my phone now. Um, but I am going to eat my meal with this red wine. It's from Sutter Home. It's a sweet red California red wine. I got this from one of my coworkers. I work for my birthday um, that was back in June. So I'm gonna open this up. Thank goodness. It's a twist off cap because baby, if it was a corkscrew, this wouldn't be open, okay? Because number one, I don't even have a corkscrew. And number two, I suck at using those. So um, let's go ahead and pop this open. And then we're going to end the video. All right, y'all. Dinner is ready got my red wine and i'm gonna just chill out for the rest of the night so i stirred everything up got my broccoli got my shrimp got my um sausage and we're good we're good 
Listen, y'all seen how easy this was to make, right? Easy. If I can do it, I know y'all can do it. Because, baby, I am not no cook. You see, y'all have scarf in this down. <laughs> baby, I tell y'all hungry. I am hungry. But listen. <laughs> If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you must have caught a vibe. So subscribe. And until the next time, y'all, please remember to stay focused, stay laughing, stay yourself, stay what? Stay fly.